really dark. Um, it's like talking into a black wall. Hi, I'm Batania, um, and I really, really love Acro. Partner Acro is a movement practice where you have one person called the base. Hi. <laughs> Who supports another person, the flyer, and that's me. It's known by many different names, sometimes called partner acrobatics, partner yoga, acro yoga, we're just plain acro. But no matter what it's called, we all share a love for connection and movement. Practitioners come from all sorts of backgrounds. Some of us come from yoga, others from circus or gymnastics, and others have no special background at all. So I teach Hatha yoga, which is the yoga that you're probably familiar with when you go to in a studio. And I'm asked why I care about acro in the first place. So yoga is an individual practice. You can go to a studio, you can go to class, but at the end of the day, it's about your relationship to yourself. It's you and your mat. Acro requires another person. So it's movement in partnership. No one owns Acro. It has no rules, and we think of it as an open source practice. We're inspired by many movement lineages, including circus, gymnastics, dance, contact improv, martial arts, surfing, being Superman, <laughs> slacklining. Um, it's one giant remix. And every partnership will find a way to co-create their expression of acro. Yeah. So if everyone's doing their own thing, what makes an acro practice an acro practice? So in acro, we lift people up, we fly. And that's inherently dangerous. And the extra risk requires great trust. Yeah, and the trust creates context for a connection. Woo. Woo. Are you the year? Good. Yeah. So I love to fly and I love to bass, but so those are these moves and it's fun. But the real reason I love acro is what it teaches me about my relationship to others. So I learned that the amount of fun and joy I have is basically entirely contingent upon the quality of our communication. So there's this fun part, but then there are challenges and difficulties, and sometimes when we move, we fall. That's fun. <laughs> so, oh, now I lost where I was, because you all clapped. <laughs> what was I talking about? You're doing great. Yes! <laughs> so about falling. Oh yeah! So, um, so, <laughs> so screwing up like I just did and forgot my next thing that I was going to say, it kind of stinks. Um, but first, it's really frustrating when you mess up. But frustration and failure, they're gnarly, but they're part of every part of our lives in acro practice and in other things we do. So then the question becomes, what exactly is failure? And how do I move through it and past it? How do I find, or even define, success? Acro is a safe space to ask these questions. It's a training ground where I get to practice how I deal with challenge and how I face challenge. Each partnership is a new opportunity to see how I react to frustration. So for example, if something isn't working, I can see, do I blame myself, do I blame my partner, and how can I communicate in a way that respects them and supports me? I've also learned to become more assertive and ask for what I need. And in this case, Josh, it would really help me if you set your foot back. <laughs> Boom. Oh, so much better. <laughs> also, I've learned to become more selfless and listen carefully. So is there anything that I can do for you? Um. If you could straighten your leg and then point your toe. Beautiful, awesome, everybody. So communication. When we're both in sync and working together, it's kind of incredible. And also I just got to fly. <laughs> Boom, with another human. 